Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Gary Shanling. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. This is the only impression I do. If this doesn't work, I'm totally screwed. I, uh, I guess this is, I, I, the closest thing I am, I guess, is to Neil Diamond, who, uh, yeah, well, he was a big Jew who, um, and well, and I'm a Jew. I can say that Neil was a big Jew because he, uh, he wears sequins and shit. Like a Jewish lady now. And he was gonna be, he was gonna be a cantor in a synagogue. Which is the, if you don't know, that would be like the, that would be like Neil Diamond in a synagogue. <laughs> Same fucking songs. That was the Passover song. And then it went over so well, he broke free and hit it big. I'm a little late because uh, uh, it's not just the flight controllers that are screwing up. The woman on my GPS was asleep. <laughs> Is that spreading? Is that so? It's it's. I said I've got a comedy magic club. <laughs> no matter how I go, I end up on pier where the. There's, are there 200 stop signs? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the place to have, well, they gotta have the Hermosa Grand Prix and leave those stop signs up. <laughs> Teach Long Beach a little lesson. <laughs> and the cops should still, you know, participate. <laughs> Love the cops in Hermosa Beach. Didn't come to a complete stop. Talking on the cell phone. I write these. I, I write uh, jokes in the car when I'm coming down. Cops stop me. Uh, I said, I'm not texting. <laughs> He's scratching his helmet. I, I said, is it illegal? To, where does it say it's illegal to write jokes in the car, officer? I got stopped for being on the phone. I don't like using the, the Bluetooth. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't really work. Great, does it? It's, isn't it just as distracting? Like you're yelling at somebody? Like you're pissed? As opposed to just going, how you doing? You're going, how you doing? And, and uh, so I used the phone and then the cops stopped me and uh, I said, boy, officer, uh, I, I was holding the phone up, sir, but I, I wasn't talking to anybody. <laughs> Go ahead and ask. <laughs> so he took it and he, he went, hello? And my friend said, I wasn't talking to him, officer. <laughs> I, I don't talk to him when he's drunk, sir. <laughs> I said, no. Just, you, you're supposed to stop at the, I wasn't talking to him, officer. Uh, so, the world is uh, good we're here tonight. So we have this moment together. <laughs> you know, because it's going fast. The world is going fast. It's Sarah Palin may run, Sarah Palin's now behind. Donald, I always thought Donald Trump would get squeeze ahead of Sarah Palin. <laughs> In your wild imagination, most wild imagination, I mean like on heroin. <laughs> Isn't it more sane to get just fucked up and say, I want to see a debate between Donald Trump and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> You're fired, I'm winning. <laughs> You're fired. I quit. I'm winning. That's what the world's come to. Those two motherfuckers getting the most hits on me. 
I'm here working on material, doing my job, maybe saying a dirty word here and there. I'm not, I don't want to see anybody's birth certificate. I don't care if you're from another planet. Man, oh man, oh man. On my birth certificate, uh, I was born in Chicago. I have my birth certificate. Yeah, then my, my parents, I was, uh, when I was two, my parents moved to Arizona and did not tell me. And I grew up in Tucson, Arizona because my brother had a lung, a cystic fibrosis was a lung condition, and so the, we went to where the, uh, the dry, <laughs> the dry heat is. <laughs> it sounds like dry heaves because it feels like it. It's like 112 degrees, and the dog would run by and burst into flame. <laughs> and in the summer, we'd trim him down, not, not so he'd be cooler, so the fire wouldn't spread from animal to animal, the fire department comes in Tucson, Arizona and goes, you gotta trim back the dog. <laughs> that, that hair is too long. And um, no Jews in Arizona. They had a place called, uh, in north of Tucson, Jew Country Safari. Like <laughs> this one, and people would drive their cars through. And tailors and accountants would run Look at the size on the size of the nose on. How do they how do they walk? So I, I mean I grew up the only Jewish kid in, Arizona, in in Tucson. So I mean I lived don't ask, don't tell for fifteen fucking years. <laughs> Seriously. I, I didn't need to be gay to know what they were talking about uh, pertaining to that. The other stuff I don't get, because uh, I'm straight and hanging on by a thread. I gotta be honest with you. I, uh, it's so odd because I have not gotten married uh, yet, and it's not me. When you're, all right, I guess I'm gonna tell you. So when you're, Jew, if you're, uh, I got a, uh, my mother's kind of wacky. So my mother wanted to marry me. Jewish mothers want to marry their sons. I know it's weird. I once went to a shrink and I told him that and he went, it's something blackjack dealers do. <laughs> Another shrink with a new deck. So I got dealt a bad kind of wacky card, so I got the Jewish mother wacky card. And so I have, uh, for my whole life, picked women who are the exact opposite of my mother, like, uh, you know, very uh, white Gentile cocaine addicts and shit. I pick, because I'm a, I, I, I'm a caretaker. I'm a, uh, a codependent caretaker, so I try to help them, so. Uh, they're all damaged uh, <laughs> women. And uh, I remember my, my one very long-term girlfriend was yelling at me to the point where I said, my God, a guy's hit you, hasn't he? And she said, yeah. And I said, I can tell because you're asking for it. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't know how to help her. I can't, I wasn't gonna touch her. I don't do that. I can't even hit a dog. I roll up newspaper and hit myself and go, this could happen to you. <laughs> and it hurts worse than it looks, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, somewhere, as we've gotten close to the end of the world, uh, I guess I've aged. <laughs> and it's only occasionally that I see it because I, I look every day and I look similar. <laughs> and then I get to have the luxury, of course, of getting to see myself on TV now and then and can't get to the remote fucking fast enough. <laughs> but, oh my God. 
why did they have to throw that at me? Uh, so I didn't start to feel old or anything until people started, this really happened, is they, people would say, uh, you look tired. When I, when I wasn't, right? Not tired at all. Sort of never felt better in my life. But I mean like six times a day, you look, you look tired. Are, are those the people that when they see someone dying, they go, you look fucking exhausted. Oh, they're, they're, they're dying. I'm, I'm just aging. I'm not aging. My face is evolving. It's like the fucking Himalayas. I don't know where to spray that hair color shit first. Because I don't know how easily it comes off. <laughs> You got the idea. I, it's the first time I honestly thought of that is standing right here. That don't they have the commercial where the guy sprays his head? But they you never see him just go. Because I'm really off the top of my head now, folks. Because if a guy, you know, when a guy goes, uh, and this is ladies, I'm giving you something to come back with now. So I think, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but I'm on nothing. So it's the truth. So um, is this a microphone? So the guys will go, uh, she's not a real blonde. So all you ladies got to say is, you know, you just look up and go, you know, you're not fucking 30 years old. <laughs> Okay, I just put that together. <laughs> we'll see if we can work it out as uh, if we can squeeze another 2,000. Why? Sarah Palin could run. Is that a coincidence that, 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 that that's when the Mayan calendar ends? <laughs> or did they know something? <laughs>